All right, good day, folks. Today, we're going to take a look at CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange CME Group, ticker CME. And we just had a nice trade from this pullback here at the 200 day. This also happened to be a 618 rejection. So we came up here, traded into the 618 as well as the 200 day, providing that multiple confluence for a nice short day from 190 to its current price of around 174 but we have been alerted to a possible change in the tide and we're now shifting our focus for a potential trade to the long side or i.e bullish on cme why is that well for starters we have a high probability seasonal trade setup on the horizon this particular setup calls for a long on or around 629 with an end date on or around 713. It's been profitable 86% of the time over the last seven years with a modest drawdown here in 2017. But you can see overall, we've had some very nice gains. We eked out a couple of small gains back here, but we had nice gains 15, 16, 18, and 19 with an average profit in dollars of near $25. So there's plenty of meat on this one. So let's take a look at the technicals here. And if we take a Fibonacci retracement from this last swing high to this last swing low back here in January of 16, we now have a couple of levels that we can key off of. And notice that the 50% retracement level lines perfectly with these past areas of price structure. What is price structure? Simply areas that have served as reaction points where the price has either stalled at significant areas of support and or resistance but since we've been in a longer term uptrend with the exception of this correction back in march the trend has been overwhelmingly bullish so what we want to do is try to capture the resumption of the uptrend and trade alongside its high probability seasonality data so there's a couple things i'm looking at here a couple ways to play cme that is one, set you some price alerts here at the 155 to 153 area for a retest back into this area. Doesn't mean that we'll get long as soon as we trade into that area. We would like to see some confirmation that indeed this level does hold. Secondly, we may not come down to this level. So we would be looking for as an alternative play is a channel breakout. So you can see that the way I define a channel breakout is a minimum of two to three months of sideways price action, which you can see here going back to April, we've clearly had. So this is another area that I'm watching. Notice that it's hugging the 200 day as well. So if we do get a breakout to the upside, that would be another way to take advantage of the trade. So we got a couple situations, either A, waiting for the market to come down here at 153 to 155, which is what I would prefer. We get a much better value or discount buy at these levels, but we may not get that breakout down to that level. So what we'll be doing now is waiting for a potential breakout to the upside, which would push us through the 200 day level. Now, how do we play the sideways channel? It's very simple. We wait for a breakout above the channel, wait for one or two days of potential retest there to give us that extra confirmation. And the target is simply the distance between the channel from this high to this low. And so we can measure that up and notice that that will take us clear up here into these recent structure highs up here around the 220 to 225 area. So remember, we're looking for a breakout in the 190, 195 area, average profit of about $20, which would take us up here in the 215 to 220 area. So that's a couple ways that I'm going to be looking at at CME for a potential trade to the long side. So hope it helps. Good luck, good trading, and we'll see you on the next update.